Did you know one simple blood test could reveal why your embryo transfer fails, even with perfect embryos? It is not progesterone. It is not estrogen. It's something most clinics don't test. Homocysteine. Homocysteine is an amino acid in your blood. When levels go above 12 to 15, studies show implantation and pregnancy rates can drop and miscarriage rates can rise. Why? High homocysteine can trigger tiny clots in the uterine lining, increase oxidative stress, block nutrient pathways. Your embryo needs to grow. This has nothing to do with embryo quality. That's why even normal PGTA tested embryos sometimes fail. The good news is you can fix this quickly. Homocysteine is controlled by vitamins. With methylfolate, vitamin B12, and vitamin B6, you can normalize your levels in two to four weeks. Now, does this guarantee success? No. Lowering homocysteine helps, but it's only one piece of the puzzle. You still need good embryos, proper hormones, and a healthy uterus. And here's something important. While studies show strong associations, guidelines don't recommend routine testing for everyone. It's most useful if you have had repeated implantation failure recurrent miscarriage, or if you have risk factors like B12 deficiency, vegan diet, or certain medications. So if you are preparing for IVF, ask your doctor about a fasting homocysteine test along with folate and B12. If it is high, correcting it is safe, simple, and may give you a better chance before transfer. One small step, another way to prepare smart.